But today we are not going to be writing in the tiny notebook. I'm going to be teaching you guys the science behind paper airplanes. So, let's think about why paper airplanes work for just a little bit. Well, it all comes down to these things called forces. It's a push or pull on anything that has a mass. Here's the thing, I'm gonna fold up a paper airplane. You guys have probably seen how people fold paper airplanes before, but just yes. in case you haven't, I'm going to do it right here. You can actually make something lift just by a shape of the wings. Now, what does this do? So when you have a shape like this for the wind, wind will come at it at a certain angle and yes. the pressure under it is going to be high. It's gonna be a low velocity, high pressure. And above it, above your wing, all the air is high velocity, high speed and low pressure. It means that what we have to worry about is how big the wings are, how well it can cut through the air and how hard we throw it when we start. Which landed but now we have to think about how can we engineer that into an actual design this is the part where the science comes out of the paper we can't leave it on the paper we got to start putting it on huh Pencil. I guess this is paper huh what if we made it so that it had force on it after it leaves my hand a propeller. A propeller. Well, I don't have a propeller that I can mount on this, but do what I do it, have do it, is do it, do it, a do propeller it. that I can set up with this. Let's give this a whirl one more time. What I'm seeing is they're right about at the same level. I don't know if you guys can see it in the distance there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, click over here for more of my videos.